Hello, my name is Patrick Bradley, and I am here with my good friend and business associate, Stefan Bruckel. Stefan has taken the lead of my life insurance team for the last 30 years. And we were recently having a phone conversation, and he was telling me about many of the fast-paced changes going on in the life insurance industry. And I thought other advisors would like to know this information, so we decided to uh, record this quick clip, and I'll be sending it out to my advisor network. The basis of today's discussion is going to be a Wall Street Journal article that appeared just last weekend. And the title of that article was, Some Americans Are Being Turned Away Trying to Buy Life Insurance. So, Stefan, let me ask you, what is your real-world experience with some of the issues brought up in the article? Patrick, thank you very much for your kind words. And yes, three decades ago, I had a lot more hair, and it wasn't this color either. So um, thank you for reminding me of that. Um, you're right. I mean, some uh, life insurers indeed are turning away uh, customers. But the much bigger impact, Patrick, has been the collapse in interest rates this year. Um, interest rates have come down from about two to three percentage points uh, earlier this year or late last year to about a half a percent. So what that means for life insurers who invest the premiums that we pay to them today in order to pay a benefit in the future, they have to increase premiums. And that has been the biggest impact so far this year. Prices have gone up for term insurance, for permanent forms of insurance. And um, so the bottom line is, if you need life insurance, the time to act is now sooner rather than later. For a specific example, one of the major companies in our industry with one of their most popular products, they announced on Friday that effective this Monday, May 11th, they would raise premiums by between 16 and 20 percent for a couple of their most popular products. So it's a pretty extreme increase. Now, the good news is we can still get applications in by um, May 22nd. Uh, but this illustrates the trend in our industry. It's price, pricing pressures up on life insurers in response to the decreased interest rate environment. You mentioned the article pointed out that life insurers are turning away clients. That is true as well. We see in the news that the um, coronavirus-induced uh, illness called COVID-19 has a much bigger impact on the older age clients than uh, young individuals. So we're seeing the biggest impact on 80 years and older. Many insurers stopped writing life insurance on individuals 80 and up. Some have stopped writing any type of coverage age 70 and up. And increasingly, we're seeing the trend 60 and up, unless you're super healthy, let's wait and see what happens. So that is another, another reason to act sooner rather than later, especially if you're a business owner looking at business succession or have some other longer term need. And finally, some products have been withdrawn. A very popular 30-year level term product by, offered by our industry's largest insurer was recently withdrawn just because it is too inexpensive given the current interest rate environment. They'll come back in July or, or August perhaps with a new product, but it will be more expensive. Fortunately, a number of carriers still offer 30-year term at the cost from last year. So if you're in that market, it makes sense to talk to your advisor today and uh, update your life insurance portfolio before other price increases take effect. Patrick? Well, since time is of the essence, why don't we do this for next week? Uh, why don't we have a very brief conversation about what's the next step if somebody's interested in increasing their life insurance portfolio? What do they do? Perfect. We can do that. The good news is it's become super easy with technology. Can be done contact less quick and easy and policies can be issued in as short as five days. So let's talk about how to do that next week. Patrick, thank you very much. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.